Hello and welcome to A Cat in the Garden. This isn't Nutmeg, this is actually his mom. Her name is Lua and I am not in Texas right now. I'm actually in Pennsylvania visiting my parents, but we're going to go plant shopping today. So I figured I'd show you one of their cute little kitties because all of their cats are super cute. But like I said, we're gonna go plant shopping today. So let's get to it. First up, when we walked into the main greenhouse, I saw this giant fuzzy petiole and it was only $40. They had a few of them. They looked absolutely gorgeous. This big silver sword that was also only $40. And I was like, oof, if I didn't have to ship plants to come back with me. This, oh, I, this is called a discolor. I forget the first part of the name, I'm sorry. But I actually kind of want one of those one day though I heard they're finicky. This jade satin looked like it has seen some better days, but it was honestly super full and lots of new growth on it, so maybe it's recovering. These Macaulay's Finale were super cute and vibrant. Also, these Prince of Orange, only $9, which is pretty cheap, I want to say, for a four inch. They also had these Philodendron White Princesses for only 15 and big ones for 45 that is way cheaper than the ones that I see in Texas even. These couple ring of fires were I think 45 also. I was pointing them out to my mom. Um, this was a little philodendron plowmanii for 30, which I feel like is a good deal for one that's already established and growing. And then of course I saw more little pink princess, these cute little scomiferum for 13, which is also cheaper than what I see in Texas. Some Sabu Blue, some Calathea Stella, which I do really want one, but I just never buy it. I don't know why. It's so cheap, but I don't buy it. Some little jewel orchids, and then of course some Hoyas. I really liked the look of the Sunrise. They were sun stressed if you like that. And then they had these Crassa Petiolata for 20, which I also think is a really good deal for an already established plant with lots of growth points in it. There were some Cronianas, some Compacta, these cute little Obovata for 12. I was trying to find the price tag there. And then these cute little Parasitica Black Margins, and these were splashy, which is really cool. My mom already picked me up one that was full silver, so I'm very excited about that. And then some more Sunrise. These Crimson Princess Baskets were cute, and these Variegated Carii Baskets for 100, which also is not a bad price, considering how much plant you're getting for $100. These were these Syngonium confetti, I think. I don't know. You guys know I'm not a Syngonium gal. There were some random Scandapsis and these Epipremnum Panatum Albo, which weren't looking too bad for 22 with fenestrations already a semi-mature leaf. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. There were some Brantianums, this variegated Anthurium for 25 and more Croniana for $16.50. They had quite a lot of those if you're still on the hunt for one. More Hoyas, these pubic calyx were super splashy and sun stress, which I love. I love pink splash on a Hoya. I think it's so cute. Then over here were these variegated Macrorhiza alocasia for 75, though I already have one. So leaving that be, then there was this Billyettii for 92, which I'm not sure about the pricing on these because they're not my favorite. My husband loved it. He and my mom were talking about it a lot, but I don't know. I don't like the orange. Sorry, hubby. This Jose Bono was only 60 and it had a million growth points, which I thought was a really good deal. And then I was looking at these more uncommon Hoyas. This is a Michelle. It didn't have a price tag, but I already had that one. Then this one was 30. It was the Fuawensis. I'm sorry if I didn't say that right. Then a Finlay Sony Eye Splash. This one was a Marilei Eye Long Leaves. This was the flagelletta, I think. It literally feels like sandpaper. If you ever see one, you have to touch it. And then this Scandapsis Silver Hero is super cute. Really long vine. And of course, these are everywhere now. The Ficus Shiveriana. I think it was, yeah, it was 23. Honestly, don't pay more for like 25, 30 bucks for these nowadays. Then they had the holiday cacti, which were blooming. Some white wizards, some white knights. And then these were cool to see. The Philodendron Gigas. They were 15. I feel like I don't see these in stores anywhere. They didn't look their best, but they're pretty easy going. And then they had one Glad Hands for 16. Looks like they had sold out of the rest. And then I just wanted to take you guys through the succulent greenhouse. I'm not a big succulent gal. 
I like plants that need to be watered more often than this and I know literally nothing about succulents so we're just gonna go through here together we're gonna look at the plants and uh, I admire some of them I think they're cute I just feel like I would kill them because I've killed several so we're just going to look at it together in case any of you are interested in succulents. They literally dedicate an entire greenhouse to these, and it's a pretty big one. So somebody here must like them. Though here are some dragon fruit, and I did end up taking one of these home because your girl loves dragon fruit, and I want to grow them. And I needed a partner for mine that I bought in Texas so that I can cross-pollinate them. They also had some dragon fruit in the hanging baskets, which you could kind of see in the corner there. And these were more of the succulents that I've seen in plant shops around. I still don't know what any of them called are called. I apologize, but they're cute. Oh, I do know the burrow's tail that I just passed. And they were so cheap too, only $2.95 for all of these. They don't really discriminate on what type it is, all the same price. So I thought that was really cool. And some of them were honestly really cute. I can't lie. I was tempted. I was like, oh, it's only $3. But, you know, I just, I can't buy plants that I know that I'm going to kill. I think there was one. There are some of these are a lot bigger. Yeah, this one I wanted to point out kind of in relation to my hand because it is really big for being in a tiny two or three inch pot so that is a succulent greenhouse and then moving on in case you're interested in sort of the annuals vincas are one of my absolute favorite little flowers so i just wanted to show them off and some really cute petunia hanging baskets they had a lot of greenhouses dedicated to annuals they also make their own arrangements which you can kind of see in the hanging baskets and throughout this video this greenhouse was new. I think they combined a few of their greenhouses to make this giant super greenhouse with lots of large tropicals as well as annuals. These were so many petunias. The two middle rows that I'm standing in, all different kinds of petunias, and I wish I could buy them. Also, of course, had to touch the sensitive plant. Did you even see one if you didn't touch it? And this was kind of the outside. Just wanted to give you guys an overview. They had some cold crop veggies and perennials out here because in Pennsylvania, it is still a bit colder. Okay, we are back and there are obviously lots of nosy cats in here. I showed you guys Lua at the beginning of this video. Again, she's Nutmeg's mom. So just feeling really sentimental about her because I'm missing my little Nutmeg right now. But she's a little timid. I really don't know how she gave birth to a cat like Nutmeg, but she did. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I got because I can't go to a plant store without buying a plant. So I got a Hoya and it's super cute, very splashy. And I lost the tag for it somehow, but I will probably go look back in the video to see what it is. It kind of feels sandpapery, just a little bit, not as much as the flagelletta, but just a little bit sandpapery. It's very tall, so we'll see how much TSA hates me when I fly back with this, but I'm flying back with this and two other plants that my mom has been holding for me that I bought from the same nursery. So again, if I forgot to mention, it was Five Points Farm Market and Greenhouse located in York Springs. They have a lot of uncommon plants at honestly really good prices, which is why I think it's worth it to buy them and usually my mom ships them to me. But since I flew out here, I figured I would save a little bit on shipping and just take them in my carry-on. So that is it for the Hoyas and the plant shopping in Pennsylvania. Though there are so many good nurseries and plant shops here. I wish I was here for longer. I mean, I'll definitely be back because my parents live here, but I wish I could just show you guys all of it because honestly, this area is super underrated in terms of plant shops and gardening and all of that good stuff. And it's where I learned everything I know for the most part about gardening. So yeah, feeling a little nostalgic today, but at least we got a Hoya to remember the trip. by. Before I go, my mom also wanted me to show off one of her cats that she absolutely loves. He's the youngest cat in the house. And he's super cute. His name is Charlie. He actually was born with a cleft palate and his skull was not connected together. But it has 
it's used back together since he was born. I think he's over a year now and he's just so cute and he's really special and he's really personable. He loves my mom. He doesn't love being held too much, so I'm gonna let him go. But I just wanted to show him off really quickly because my mom wanted me to and obviously I'm going to be super cute. But thank you so much for coming along with me today. I really hope you enjoyed this content in another state, even though I don't have my normal planty setup. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe so you don't miss anything from me and the various cats in my life. Thanks again, and we'll catch you in the next one.